Shalom Vorcha. I wanted to share a little bit of this um, simple knowledge of mine that is uh, simple in one way and uh, very useful and powerful um, for the true believers, for the truth seekers around the world. And it's the simple knowledge of the Hebrew language, the, 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 um, the most ancient um, language um, of course, based on uh, on the simple teachings um, and the wisdom of the Bible, that we believe that the Creator Himself created the world and um, sent down Adam and Eve to the Garden of Eden, and all this wonderful story of Bereshit, Genesis, and um, and Matan Torah, and the time that we got the Torah, and we know that. Um, the Hebrews always spoke Hebrew, Abraham and uh, Isaac and Jacob, and there are evidence, amazing evidence, um, in the Bible itself, except for the fact that it's written in Hebrew and be been given to the Hebrews in Hebrew. Um, also, there are c certain words that have been said that are showing that, um, with and clarifying with no doubt, that the world was created in Hebrew, that the Creator Himself, when He spoke and said um, the ten um, sentences that with them He created the world, like for an example, the most famous one that Hashem said, or, or, that He said, they're going to be light, and there was light, and all the rest of the words and verses that He said, words that He said, um, been said in Hebrew. So Hebrew is the language that the Creator uh, decided to create the world with. And then in the generation of the Tower of Babylon, um, the Creator um, created new uh, languages and separated the wisdom to 70 different uh, streams. Uh, families that have been separated um, to four wings of the universe with 70 main uh, languages. Um, for an example here we just caught one evident to the fact that the world was created um, with the language of Hebrew. The reason why we're calling the Tower of Babylon and that uh, generation um, Babel, the generation of Babylon, we name them on based on the word Migdal Tower Bavel of the of the people of Bavel, but why they have been called Bavlim, why the people been called um, after the name Bavel, because the meaning of the word Balal, Bavel from the word Balal in Hebrew means divided or mixed or confused and the Creator, that's what He did. The people built the tower, but the Creator confused them. The Creator created dividings between them and gave them 70 languages to speak. Um, and therefore they were not able to communicate. So He created a certain mix, a certain confusion between the people. And the name Bavel is coming from the act of the Creator that He confused them. Here you have a simple evidence for the fact that the world was uh, created and that the light been given uh, through the language of the Hebrews, the Hebrew language. So we're using many verses and we're reading a lot of uh, Psalms of Tehillim and I think that uh, it will be a great opportunity for me to share with you and for you to learn um, from this amazing knowledge um, and to see the holy letters and here or here I still don't know in one of the sides we're gonna put um, the, um, the picture of the chapter itself that we're gonna read today and uh, let's hope that we will be able to read many chapters like that and, um, and I'm going to teach you how to pronounce it and if I'll have some insight to give on those verses, I will do so as well. Okay, are you ready to go? Let's see. So, first chapter in Tehillim, the book that's been written by King David, Ashrei Ha'ish Asher Lo Halach Ba'atzat Reshaim. 
praiseworthy is the man, the person that Asher lo halach be'atzat reshaim did not um, follow the advice of the wicked ones of evil. Uvederech chataim lo amad and in the path of sins um, slash sinners he didn't stand. He didn't stop to to listen. Uv moshav letzim lo yashav and in the seat of um, clowns of jokers of people that are um, making fun out of serious topics he didn't sit with them he didn't sit with them and um, there is a great wisdom in that verse um, that a person that is walking the, be the beginning of the verse is starting with asher lo halach that he didn't walk because if you start walking in the advice of evil people you're gonna find yourself standing, stopping in the place of sinners, in a place that there are sins over there. And if you're going to stop and seeing those sins and become part of what that goes on over there, you'll find yourself sitting with those clowns and, and becoming one of them. So the verse is saying to you, first of all, don't even walk, don't even like, you're going to say, no, I'm just going to walk through that place. No, I'm not going to stop. No. And for you to learn um, from this amazing knowledge um, and to see the holy letters and here or here, I still don't know. In one of the sides, we're going to put um, the, um, the picture of the chapter itself that we're going to read today. And uh, let's hope that we will be able to read many chapters like that. And, um, and I'm going to teach you how to pronounce it. And if I'll have some insight to give on those verses, I will do so as well. Okay, are you ready to go? Let's see. So first chapter in Tehillim, the book that's been written by King David, Ashrei Ha'ish Asher Lo Halach Ba'atzat Reshaim. Praiseworthy is the man, the person that Asher Lo Halach Ba'atzat Reshaim did not um, follow the advice of the wicked ones, of evil. Uvederech chataim lo amad, and in the path of sins um, slash sinners, he didn't stand, he didn't stop to, to listen. Uv moshav letzim lo yashav, and in the seat of um, clowns, of jokers, of people that are um, making fun out of serious topics, he didn't sit with them. He didn't sit with them. Um, there is a great wisdom in that verse um, that a person that is walking, the, be the beginning of the verse is starting with Asher lo halach, that he didn't walk. Because if you start walking in the advice of evil people, you're going to find yourself lo amad, standing, stopping in the place of sinners, in a place that there are sins over there. And if you're going to stop and seeing those sins and become part of what that goes on over there, you'll find yourself sitting with those clowns and, and becoming one of them. So the verse is saying to you, first of all, don't even walk. Don't even like you're going to say, no, I'm just going to walk through that place. Oh, no, I'm not going to stop. No, you're going to stop. And if you're going to stop, no, I'm not going to sit. No, you will sit. So be careful not to start. Ki'im. So what you should do, just betorat Adonai Chefzo, to desire the Torah of Hashem, uv Torato, and in His Torah, in the Torah of God, yehege yomam v'layla, you should be busy expressing it and spelling it and talking Torah day and night. Vehaya ke'etz shatul al palgei maim, and then you'll become like a tree that is uh, planted, uh, that is planted, how you say plant or planted, I don't know. Hebrew, Hebrew I can teach you, but English you're going to have to teach me or that I'm going to stay as I am. Like the tree that is planted or plant, I don't know how you say that, on stream of water. It means very close to source of water that is not lack of water. Asher piryo yiten beito, that will give the fruits in the right time. Ve'alehu lo yibol. And his leaves will never leaves will never uh, become dry, uh, will not fall from it. Um, and everything that he will do, 
he will succeed. Everything that you'll do, you shall succeed. Lochen harshaim, but the destiny of the evil ones will not be the same, just as kiim kamots asher tidfenu ruach, like the husks that are covering the grain of the wheat, and the wind is blowing them away, and that's how you sift them, that's how you pull the grains, the good, the food, out of the, of the husks, out of its covering, the peels, and wind is coming and blowing that waste, that part that is not needed, so the evil ones will fly with the wind. Alken, therefore, lo yakumu reshaim bamishpat, the evil ones will never stand in the trial. The trial in day of judgment, in the day of truth, when truth will be revealed completely, they will not be able to stand in the trial. Vechataim ba'adat tzadikim, and sins in the tribe, in the in the in the group of righteous uh, ones, of righteous people. Righteous people will not be standing in the same place where sins are at and where sinners are doing their thing. God forbid. Ki because Yodea Adonai derech tzadikim, the Creator God, He knows the path of the righteous ones. Vederech reshaim toved and the path of the wicked ones will be lost. That's it. I want you to work on it. Take that book, listen to this video over and over as much as you need. Try to teach yourself how to say it and also to remember the true meaning of that, ver of that chapter, of those verses. And um, with time you're going to understand more. If you, want, um, if you want to learn and to practice um, Hebrew, it can help you in so many ways and also to pray in Hebrew is a wonderful thing and the holy words contain so much knowledge and the knowledge and the spirit that is treasured inside the holy words of Hebrew um, are very straight and honest and attaching the person who speaks them uh, directly to the Creator, to Hashem and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it and that you're going to love it and that it will help you in so many wonderful ways. And Bezat Hashem, soon we're going to read chapter number two. Be well. Yehudi, Hashem ko